Hello, I am Sentimus Prime, and here I will be unboxing the Modroid Dinozenon. Now, before I get into the unboxing, I would like to mention that, yes, in fact, I have gotten two of the same kit. And I have a few reasons for doing this. So, the re so one of the reasons I actually did this is because when I got this one, when I got uh, this one, I my I wasn't really, really posting on my YouTube channel at this point. So I ended up just like opening it and, and building it and all that without actually doing any videos on it. So I figured this would be a good second chance to, to actually do that. But I also want to see if there's any differences between these two because I did get both these from different uh, online stores. Like this one, I got this one I got from AliExpress. You know that one that I've been getting a bootleg Bionicles from. Whereas my my first one, I actually got it from Big Bad Toy Store. I feel the need to mention that I'm not sponsored by any of these stores, but it would be nice to get a sponsor someday. So anyway, I want to see if there's any differences between the packagings for each one. And from what I could see, there's really no difference aside from the big bad one has this shiny Subaraya sticker, whereas this one doesn't. Okay, but now with the, this out of the way... Oh, and I actually want to mention, while I'm unboxing this and seeing the contents, I'm actually going to tell you how my experience was with the big, big bad one while I do it. Wouldn't that be interesting? So, with that out of the way, let's start by looking at the box art. And looking... And looking at the box, it has... Of course, it has this beautifully done box art on the front we have dinosaur on in has been done very nicely all that uh shells shading and lighting effects and even this uh aura or aura yeah aura it's it's uh it's aura around it the aura around it's very nice and fiery very cool. Very cool. Very anime-like, which is very fitting for this for this guy. And even on the background, we do get some nice box art of Dynarex. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool. And of course, up here we do get the show that this nicely done robot is done by we do get the name we do get uh the good smile company the company that makes this do get modroid because it's part of the modroid line and some words including trigger and dinosaur on the ones i can read very nice now looking at the side I will say it does have the outlines that's if I bring in if I quickly bring in the gridman one you can tell that that the outlines on the dinosaur components have also been upscaled but not only that Not only that, 
So if you compare these two together, you can see that the dino that the dino soldier is ever slightly shorter but kind of bulkier. That I compared the dino soldier and the grid man, and that was the exact and it was and they were both sized exactly to this but smaller, which means these were. Both of these outlines have been upscaled to the exact same scale. Again, very interesting. Very cool. Again, it would be nice to get the some somehow get like some sort of KO like upscaled version of these kits. But I'm but I'm okay with them the size that they are already. And we take and just for like comparisons, here we have the Dino Soldier outline compared to Studio Series Hot Rod. And you can tell from head to toe that these two are about the same height. With Dino Soldier having an extra fin sticking out while well, Hot Rod has this little thing. Very nice. There you have that comparison. And let's get this guy out of the way. Again, I would like to mention that. Do you like to mention stuff like that? But that, that out of the way, let's take a look at the other sides of the box. Here we have the other side with Dyna Striker, the outlines for Dyna Striker and Dyna Diver. I guess I forgot to say the names of these ones Dyna Wing and Dyna Soldier. Very cool. And here we have a vertical shot of the box art of the front box art with all the words and stuff. Here we have a more horizontal uh, shot of the box art again with the words and things. Moderate, Dines in and Good Smile. And here we have the box from the back. So up here, uh, so back here, we do get some your, some of your nice product shots of the Dino Xenon. Very cool. Of course, you have all your warning labels and and uh, QR codes and like and all that. All your little Japanese warning labels. Very nice. Got to stick it somewhere. Here we have some. Product shots of the Dino Xenon with some with some with some uh, words that I can't read, and here we have the the full, full Dino Xenon in his full burst mode. And yes, I can read. Yes, it uses words that I can read. And down here we get more product shots of Dino Xenon when he separated. And the separate combined forms of e the separate combined forms for Dino Soldier. So the Dino Soldier and Wing, Dino Soldier and Diver, if you can call that a combination. And the Dino Soldier and Striker combination. Very cool. Very neat. Except for maybe this one, but anyway. And here we have the Dino Rex mode. Very cool. Very nice. I do like, I really do like how this looks. Very nice. And now with that done for, let's finally take a good open at this model kit. Let's see how this one differs from the last one I opened. Schwing. Of course it has very nice and I will say both boxes do feel the same heck it, they're pretty much the same even down to the rounded tape I can, not sure how you can see that yeah you can see that they both have rounded tape again the only difference is the big bad one has the super eye sticker 
whereas the other one doesn't. But anyway, let's finally get this guy open. <laughs> let's hope this turns out better than last time. Yes! Sticker sheet confirmed. Now with that, let's get the box out of the way. And, well, oh, when opening this, I, I actually got to tell you something about how I how this was packaged when I opened this one. You see, when I opened the first one, the instruction sheet and sticker sheet were slightly misaligned so that part of it was folded up over this corner, over a corner. And, and it took like forever to straighten those out. It took a while to straighten them out. But it was no big deal. At least it came with the stickers. But yes, sticker sheet confirmed. Yay me. Hooray. Let's take the scissors and open this up. Swing. Get that out of the way. And let's start by looking at the sticker sheet. Ha. Ah, this one brings me back. Yes. And I will tell you that the sticker sheet, that Dinah Zenon sticker sheet, has this really nice uh, smooth texture to it. And I believe the grid full power grid man sticker sheet was the same. Was the same way. I really do like the texture of these stickers. Very nice. Now let's take let's slide this out. Set this aside. Let's look at the instructions. So here are the instructions on how to build. The dinosaur on kit. Here's the instructions on how to build. No, not to build. These are the instructions on how to transform the model kit. Transformation instructions. Here we have a dedicated page for the part counts for the for the uh, sprue counts and including the sticker sheets too. Very nice. Here we have some like, I'm guessing this is like a sheet of paper like adverti advertising that yes, they do have Grid Knight and Goldburn. And they can combine to form the Kaiser Grid Knight. And this now the now the big bad one came with this too. What this is is that during the building instructions, during the building instructions, yeah, right here. Look at these two numbers, K fifteen and K fourteen, those parts. So, what they did, accidentally did, so for that particular step, they accidentally swapped, a num swapped the numbers on these two parts. So they brought over this, so they packaged in this sheet of paper to correct that mistake. Very nice of them to do that. But yeah, we also have, so I guess that's no different either. Very nice. Now with those, out, now with the 2D stuff out of the way, let's get this stuff open. Let's start off with this one, shall we? <laughs> get that out of the way. Let's pull them out one at a time. So here we have Sprue W. 
So this one only contains six parts. It's done up in black and no paint done on any of the parts on that sprue. Up here, here we have sprue B. Sprue B done in red and no paint. Here we have sprue T done up in this dark gray and no paint. I wonder if I should like show both sides or just the one. Should I do that? I don't know. Here we have sprue D also done up in red and also has no paint. Here it is. Boom. Here we have sprue C. <laughs> Sprucey. Done up in red and no paint. And yes, the shoulder pieces. I'll get into why I'm excited for these another time. Here we have Sprue V. Done up in black and no paint. Very cool. Here we have sprue Y. So these is that so this is done up in gray. It's that rubbery kind of plastic. And of course no paint. So these are gonna be like those rubbery socket joints that are gonna give everything friction. And here we have sprue Q done up in black. And it's kind of flexible, but not as flexible as the gray one. And no paint. Okay, that one off the way. Let's get another one out. This one only has two. All right, so let's take out the scissors. Swing. I believe, are these scissors I use uh, open to cut open the bags on the other one? I don't, I don't think so, but boom. Let's do that. Here we have Sprue U. That's literally what it's called. Done up in black. And you do get a little bit of paint on these two parts. It's the paint right here and here. Neat. And taking this out, setting that aside. This one is Sprue X. And here's how it looks. And actually, yes, we do get a little bit of metallic blue paint on these two spots on this one part. So we got that. Let's take out another one. Let's get this open. They also have these holes so they can like, breathe. Very cool. Let's open this up. Very nice. So here we have Sprue N done up in this light gray and no paint. That's fine. Here we have Sprue K. Okay, Sprue K. Come on. There we go. Sprue K. Done up in yellow, no paint, but we do get the parts that were mixed up in the instructions. Get a close up of those parts. And the parts are mirrored, so yes, that step was significant. It was important to, to, to correct that mistake. Here we have Sprue H, done in red and no paint. Very nice. Here we have Sprue O done in this gray plastic and no, no paint. Cool. Here we have Sprue F done in the same gray plastic but no paint. 
And here we have one more done up in this gray plastic. It is lettered P and it has no paint. And oh, oh, I'm guessing these are some of the parts from Sprue K. So not only is one of the fists been bummer. Not only that, but the this part has also broken off. Yee. This was definitely not a this was def this de this definitely didn't happen with my a uh, big bad toy store version but hey at least but hey at least i have a at least at least it's not the end of the world i have the other one so fortunately that's it's not the end of the world or anything it's just really unfortunate definitely something that didn't happen on the other one. So moving away from that, let's move on to another one. Let's take the scissors, cut this open. Cut that aside. And let's start taking out more parts. Here we have sprue R. And in case you're wondering, yes, the sprue, all of the sprues do go from A to Z. But sprue R has been done up in red and no paint. Here is sprue L done up in red, but no paint. Oh, this part broke off. This part ended up starting to break off too. Hopefully that's not a big issue. Here's Sprue S, done up in red, but no paint. But man, this part broke off. These ones, the finger parts, I'm not, the hand parts I'm not as worried about, is that this part has actually like broken off where it's not supposed to. And that's why I'm upset about that one in particular. But overall, it's, it should be fine. Ooh, here we have Sprue Z, and it contains, and it's that, and it's done up in this tr nice translucent green plastic, and of course no paint, but it does look really nice, especially in the light. Very nice, very nice indeed. Here we have Sprue J, done up in black, and no paint. Here we have Sprue E, done up in this light gray plastic, and no paint. And, taking that aside, here we have Sprue M, done up in this really dark purplish blue, and no paint. Boom. Last one. Or... Yeah, it's the last one. Taking the box side. And let's cut this baby open. Last one to open, so setting the scissors aside. Here we have a big one. It's... Sprue G, done up in black, and it does have a painted part right here, which is done up as the face. Very cool. Here we have Sprue A, done up in yellow, and yes, you do get a little bit of paint right there, a little bit of green paint right there on that part. 
sprue A, and it does have this little, like, tab where it, like, shows you, like, mod roid, and Japanese words, and good smile, and made, made in China. Cool. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And last one is Sprue I. Done up in red, and this is the one that's the most heavy on paint. Because you do get these two parts that are, have this gray paint. We have this part that has this bit of yellow. We have these two parts that have more gray edges. And we do have this part with gray, with some gray edges, a gray diamond sh or rhombus shape. And this yellow and green. And the spot over here that's been done in yellow and green. All very nice. Very nice. The colors have been done nicely. Very cool. So there we have all of those sprues and some parts that happen to have broken off. So, one, so an easy way for me to tell if I have all of them is that if I count them up to like basically seeing my ABCs. J, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Yes, I think I do have all of them. Thank, thankfully. It's just that one of them happened to have had broken parts. But it's no big deal. I could either like glue it together or something. Try to figure out something to do about that. Or something. But, yeah. So that's me unboxing it. And it's... I was slightly disappointed by, like, these parts breaking off. But it wasn't as... A, it wasn't as uh, disappointing as the last model kit. I will say that. Overall, I am really, really happy with this one. Maybe not quite. Maybe not quite as... Maybe not quite as much as the, uh, the first one. Because this was like me... like. Because that one was like me reacting to it the first time and it didn't have any issues such as this or the stickers. But overall, I do enjoy... But I do... But I am grateful with the fact that at least it came with everything, even though some of it is broken off. Has broken off. I am overall really am grateful that all of it... At least uh, that everything needed to build the kit came. I will say that. And that'll be it. I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. If you enjoyed this unboxing, uh, please consider to like and subscribe and maybe even comment if you want. And of course, I will be posting again sooner or later.